Hello friends, this is Umi Sharra from CATCAM Solution Mirat and today I'm going to create this model and I'm going to use some solid feature and some curve to create this model. So this is the front view and this is sectional side view and this is the detail of B here it is detail B and section A is here and this is the section of this one so this is like the bottom view so I will start from the front and then side and I will create a combined curve or a intersection curve to create this shape so let us start with the annex so uh, first like this and my working plane is this and I'm starting with the line now align this with vertical axis and assign fillet and the shape will come like this okay and this radius will 4 and zoom it and uh, use this and this value will come 14.25 okay so this total is 43.5 and 7 is a diameter so half of 7 will 3.5 so 3.5 from here 3.5 from here and half of rest value right and click this this will come 133 minus 6 I'm just reducing 6 mm from the total length okay so 129 and now from this line to this mid this become 129 divided by 2 and close finish now extrude it so I am extruding this curve as a open and extrude this okay and uh, now I am going to use this face and this is the my x direction and a user arc with center so my center is this and I am starting from radius 150 enter and start angle 0 and click and again tab to 180 degree click so this is the shape now I'm going to extrude it okay it is not so define it or I can do one thing just select these two point and make them horizontally align finish and extrude this arc symmetrically on the both side so that I can create a intersection okay so I have to surface now go to this curve and intersection intersection between this curve this surface one two and three this three surface and one more surface click ok now hide this surface this surface and hide this curve as well right so this is what I want see now I'm going to add uh, this point so here I have one two three three point for uh, point I'm going to use this point and select this curve and the starting is uh, it is 30 but I'm going to use 30 minus 6 because I have already uh, left 6 mm so uh, reduce 6 from this so 24 apply again on the same curve and next will come at 60 apply and the third point will come at 105 okay right now create plane so I'm going to use this datum plane create datum plane 
take this one and my first point is this reduce it a little bit apply and again second point reduce its size and the third point for third section so reduce the size of this okay right so uh, I have already created this point so now let's use this tube and my cross section uh, my curve is this and die 7 no need for outer dia use single right now I'm going to create this section so use this sketch select the plane click orient the view okay zoom it and make this visible properly and I'm using a line from this origin to the point and make this line a little bit longer and both line are collinear now and use offset and the offset is 20 so 10 on both sides symmetric offset both side okay and uh, curve 153 is the radius so I'm using arc from here to this use simple three-point arc first second and then third and similarly this lower one now you stream to cut this extra curves and the radius and before this so select it no select this point only center point select the center point and coincide this with this origin and same for the second one center align with origin now dimension it the smaller one is 147 147 is a lower radius and the upper one is 153 and close and enter this value okay it doesn't matter the sketch is fully constant and here I need radius of 2 so use 2 and click here 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 and over here finish now extrude disconnected curve until selected and my selection plane is this the middle one plane and I want to unite it okay and change the shading mode now apply the mirror feature mirror select these two and my mirror plane is this one okay right double click over it and under this setting okay everything's fine now united okay now in this lower portion for this lower one I am going to this first plane and the vector is this zoom it and draw two circle one is 16 dia and second is 8 dia click now dimensions are from this point to this and this value is 6 okay we have already left this 6 mm now I am going to extend it 6 mm and this is on the middle plane so use extrude with symmetric and the value is 4 on each side because it is 8 see here it is 8 so 4 on each side unite apply and one more section on this so I am 
using this circle and this is the point and 16 dia and again 8 dia on this point finish shading mode on or leave it like this use extrude this and this shading mode on okay uh, this middle circle remove this middle one because it will not cut so unite first later I will use this inner circle for cutting use subtract symmetric and okay right now select all these feature which I want to pattern and my plane is this right hide and mm, it is okay right now this portion is remain and for this I am using this plane use shading and I'm starting a line with this existing point existing point and this is perpendicular now and dimension it by default it is 15 from the center so enter the 15 close finish change the shading mode and here I'm using curve and the line and line is this and the direction will be this y so select this y and uh, and limit until selecting selected to selection is this one and click okay and create a fillet between this so I am using circular blend curve so first curve is this second curve is this and the vector is this so this cylinder will come okay 8 is a radius see here we have 11.5 minus 3.5 8 okay now use trim select it and this apply and same here and uh, use home tube click here and 7 preview and from boolean from boolean i'm using unite and okay and select this i want the mirror of this and existing plane is this okay so this is my model hide all the planes extra curves this plane right and if you want to check the section so add a section and change the plane and flip reverse side and if you want to match just see okay so thank you for watching have a nice day hope you understand this tutorial properly